What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I got some new discs. I'm very excited to throw these. We're gonna kind of mess around today, see if we can get some cool distance and just kind of learn them. So this is a Fury. Um, I used to throw one of these a long time ago, but this is like a glimmer. This one's gonna be way more overstable. I got this from my buddy Lee. Um, he loves them and told me that I had to throw it. So I'm excited to see how this thing flies. It should fly pretty dead straight from what I hear. Um, one of you guys in the comments actually told me to get a Lucid Air Trespass. So got one of these, feels really good. Um, I'm excited to throw that. I got a, uh, this is one of the new Evaders um, and it's got the Carolina Clash, which I got second in. That's the tournament that I was in. Excited to throw that. Um, this is a Verdict and it's just really pretty. This is like a super pretty disc. Next, I got an Explorer. Um, this is from the 2021 PGA Amateur uh, Disc Golf World Championships. Uh, it's like, it's got some flakes in it and everything. So I feel like this will be a pretty fun disc. And then this one I'm really stoked on. It's the SPZ2. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a long time. They had a couple in the Another Round shop um, and I had to grab one. It's an understable mid, feels really cool. I'm excited to throw it. So uh, yeah, let's have some fun, throw some discs. So one thing that I've been wanting to work on is being a little bit slower in my throw because they say slow is smooth and smooth is far. Um, you can look at people like Drew Gibson and see that, uh, that that is true. And uh, I've just really been, like during this off season, I'm gonna work on my form a lot, guys. So get ready for some cool form videos as we try and tweak how we throw. Um, I'm gonna throw the mids first um, just to kind of get warmed up a little bit. We'll throw the SPZ2 first. I'm actually super stoked about throwing this disc, like I said. I don't know what the numbers are on it, so I'm gonna throw it out on a little bit of a hyzer and uh, just see what it does. Okay, wow, so you can definitely tell it's understable. It just kind of glided that whole way. There was a little bit of a headwind as well. Um, at least I think it was a headwind, I'm not really sure. Um, and then now we've got the verdict. This is supposed to be pretty overstable, so I'm gonna throw this one flat and see what we can do with it. Oh my gosh, that is not as overstable as I thought it was gonna be. I thought that was gonna fly more like uh, Justice, but it did not. All right, got the uh, Explorer here. Emerson Keith loves this disc. Um, I know that a lot of other Latitude pros love this disc, so we're gonna see if we can push this one out there. Yeah, I threw that on probably a little bit of hyzer and it pushed pretty well. Uh, comment down below as well if y'all bag any of these and uh, what type of shots you use them for. All right, this is the Evader. Since it's brand new, I'm gonna throw it flat. It should fly pretty straight. Yeah, I know a lot of the people uh, put those in their bags immediately and they did not leave. I know Eric Oakley loves it. All right, Lucid Air Trespass, super excited to throw this one. I'm gonna really try and rip this. Ooh, that's understable. Push, 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 push. Dude, that was a smash. I'm gonna have to measure that one. That might be pushing 400. And then the uh, Fury here, which like I said, I'm, I'm really excited to throw this one. I'm gonna throw it flat. Lee said that it should fly pretty straight for me, especially since it's new. Oh, that's a pretty, f what the freak? Oh, that was such a pretty flight. Lee, you were right. Okay, so I walked all the way out there with my thing, but it was too hard to pin this camera from over there. But I tried to, and it looked like the trespass went, uh, it said like 437. I don't know if I pinned this. I tried to pin the ground around it, but um, I'm just gonna use U-Disc and see if I can measure the next one because that might be my new distance disc, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing first again and really try and pump it out there this time. Stable up, stable up, stable up, stable up. Ah! Okay, so now I know it's pretty understable. We're definitely gonna throw that a couple times. The Fury, Lee was right, man. This thing flew really pretty. 
and really, really straight. I feel like I'll be able to push this one out there pretty far too. Look at that thing. A little bit of a headwind, standing it up. I really like that disc. And yeah, it flies way different than the other ones I've thrown in the past. All right, Explorer. Lots of air bounce going on. Okay, that, that just doesn't seem to fly too far for me. Um, but again, I just have to figure it out. That might be more of a sidearm disc. We got a little bit of a right to left wind now. It was headwind a second ago. I said I wanted to go slow and smooth. Man, the wind's picking up. It's supposed to rain today, so the, the front might be coming in. All right, um, this is the verdict. A little bit of a headwind here, so it should actually make it a little more understable for us. Yeah, that thing actually flies pretty straight for its numbers. All right, so this time I'm gonna measure the Fury and I'm gonna measure the Trespass. We'll throw the Fury first here. Tiny little headwind here, so throwing this flat. Mm, the wind picked up right as I threw it. Boo. All right, so I just need to realize that for the Trespass. Probably gonna throw it out with a tiny little bit of hyzer because I want this thing to have a full flight. Keep pushing. Ah, uh, give it too much air. Dang. All right, not gonna turn this SPZ over this time. Ooh, that was pretty. I feel like I'm gonna feel a headwind in just a second because it had a late turn on it. All right, now this time I'm gonna throw a sidearm with the Explorer. Throwing the Verdict again. The wind is wild right now. All right, and now throwing the Evader into a crazy headwind. All right. It keeps settling down the highways right over there, so we get wind off of that. And then again, a storm front's moving in from the right. I probably have like an hour to record. Pretty shot. I really want to. I really want to get that trespass out there far. As you guys can see, the clouds now um, that are causing the wind up there. Um, that trespass only went like 370. I'm gonna try and slow my form down, like right now. Like I'm gonna try and go through a slow, like, like walk up and really try and get a good throw with these. Headwind picked up right as I threw that, so it turned it over a lot, but that was a sick shot with the Fury. All right, trespass now. Again, I'm gonna throw it on a hyzer, but I don't wanna get it up as high as I did that last one. Carry, carry, carry. Gosh, the wind, dude! It's like... <laughs> I threw that out on a hyzer. It's a brand new disc, and now I feel it. That was a big headwind, too. Dang! All right, guys, I switched sides of the field because I was tired of throwing in that headwind. I wanna see if we can push this trespass out there to that hillside. It's, a, it's like a right to left tailwind right now. Um, more tail than right to left. So I'm gonna throw this flat. I didn't throw that too hard and that's pushing pretty far. That might be 400. We'll see. I've been pushing this Fury pretty far too. It is a, a lower speed fairway, but it's been pushing for me. <clears throat> That's such a pretty flight. If you throw it out kind of flat with a hyzer, it just pushes. Really, really nice. I'll throw this uh, Explorer on a little bit of Annie actually. 
<clears throat> yeah. That had a nice slide on it too. And now the Evader. Throw this one out on a little bit of Annie as well, especially with a little bit of a tailwind. That one's pushing. Yeah. All right, the uh, Verdict. Keep forgetting what it's called. This one I'm gonna try and throw flat. Yeah, so now it's flying kind of like a, like a Justice with the tailwind. And then we'll throw this one flat as well, the SPZ2. With the tailwind, it should fly like almost dead straight. A little bit of a turn. Ooh, it held it, that's pretty. Dang, I just ripped that. All right, as you guys can see, the sky is getting pretty grim. I'm back on the headwind side of the field. I'm gonna give this one more throw. I don't want to throw it too high. I want to throw it right down the middle, a little bit of hyzer, and get a nice flip and a full flight out of it. I threw it too high. Maybe not. Yeah, I threw it too high. <sighs> That's probably like 370. All right. I mean, this wind is good to come and practice in. I guess I'll throw the Fury out there too. Ooh. Yeah, still about the same distance. Um, that's gonna be it, guys. Um, out of these, I think I'll, I think I will bag the Trespass because I want to throw it like on a couple holes, real holes, not just out in the field. Um, the SPZ2, I might throw in my bag. I already have a lot of mids, but I'm gonna take one of my Justices out because it just doesn't fly like a Justice anymore. Um, and then, I don't know about the others, maybe. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, just randomly throwing in a field. <laughs> see you guys later.